Well, the Democratic Party of Hawaii is hosting a get-together tonight at the Hawaii Convention Center. Many of the party's candidates running for office are expected to be there. Including Lieutenant Governor Josh Green and Representative Sylvia Luke, the Democratic nominees for Governor and Lieutenant Governor. So that's where we find Kiai TV Force Tom George tonight. That's where he's going to be all night. And Tom, you called it the calm before the storm. Yeah, and now, and now we're starting to see uh, some, some of the people trickle in here, here at the convention center. But as we mentioned, this is ground zero uh, for the Hawaii Democratic Party. As you mentioned, uh, some big races from the top of the ticket all the way down, of course, leading things off. Uh, Governor Ige term limited, a wide open governor's race, Lieutenant Governor Josh Green and uh, State Representative Sylvia Luke, the Democratic ticket for governor and lieutenant governor, hoping for a big win here tonight, especially coming off a big win in the primary, but also our U.S. Senate seat, Brian Schatz, uh, defending his seat as well as both of our seats in Congress. Congressman Ed Case looking to go back to Washington and also that second congressional district seat that was left open from Kai Kahele uh, choosing to run for governor. Jill Takuda, the Democratic nominee, hoping to win that race as well. But obviously, uh, regardless of what's going on across the country where uh, things are pretty split right now, we don't know who's going to control Congress. Hawaii has historically been a dominant blue state, and that's exactly what Democrats here are hoping uh, to celebrate tonight, assuming things go well for them. And uh, actually, this year, they just got a new party chair. And uh, joining us now is Dennis Jung. Uh, how are you feeling headed into tonight? Oh, we feel very, very good tonight. I think that uh, we have an excellent slate of candidates. And uh, we hope that they do well tonight and that uh, they will do their best to instill public confidence in our government. And, and because Hawaii is such a historically uh, blue state, a lot, a lot of times the primary is the more competitive election here in Hawaii. And then, of course, there's the unity breakfast trying to get the party to come together. Has the party done a good job, do you think, of, uh, of unifying heading into this election? I think so. I think that uh, everything looks good tonight and um, we'll see. And, and as we mentioned, you know, regardless of, uh, you know, Democrats winning here in Hawaii traditionally, are, what are you looking at when it comes to the big picture of the, at the national level uh, where it could go either way? I'm optimistic there, too. We have an excellent president and our congressional leadership is fantastic. We look forward to uh, excellent wins all across the nation. You know, obviously, uh, the governor's race, we're paying a lot of attention to that. Any other things we should look for here in Hawaii tonight? No, I think everything matters and um, we look to do well in every race possible. All right, Dennis John, the party chair, obviously uh, confident, hoping for a win here tonight. Hawaii historically a blue uh, state, hoping it stays that way. Again, we are still uh, waiting to get that first printout. Uh, some of the people here at the convention center starting to trickle in. We'll, of course, uh, let you know as soon as we start getting those results. We'll send it back to you.